Hello beautiful people. My name is Miranda Joy Yim. I'm a two-time Olympian with Team Canada exploring how we define success, how we perceive failure, and all the uncomfortable emotions and experiences in between. And right now I am coming to you guys live from Puerto Rico where we are here with Team Canada in the first step for qualifying for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics next year. And it is beautiful here, it is hot here. Uh, I'll try and show you what is outside my window afterwards. Um, it's quite beautiful but is not very conducive for filming the other way. So I'll give you a shot of that. Um, so I just wanted to share with you something that happened last night, actually, after our win against, Puerto, um, not Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Um, there was a journalist there who wanted to speak actually about this platform, um, the Miranda Joy Beyond blogs, blogs, website, um, just kind of wondering why I do what I do, what it is, and what's the aim? That was his big question, what's the aim? Is it to um, women supporting women? Is it encouraging people to be their most successful self? And yeah, that, that is definitely a piece of it. Um, I talk a lot about success and failure and how pervasive it is in, in this society. And it's a super interesting subject matter that I'm, I'm passionate about. But I would say the aim, if there is one thing that I would encourage people to do, is to really take time for introspection. Because I feel like success and failure are so wrapped up with our knowledge of self. We get so like tight and bound up in these ideals and these failures because we're not familiar with what we what we find important and what we value in life, or even ourselves, our strengths, weaknesses, vices, values, all those things. Oftentimes we end up creating a whole life around someone else's opinion of success. We mold everything we do around what someone else thinks is best for us. And we do that without even reflecting on what it is that we value. And I find that when we really truly find that thing or multiple things that line up with our life values, our priorities, what we find important, what we are passionate about, um, that's when those failures and missteps and those opinions of other people that generally distract us and lower our self-confidence whether it's coming externally or internally, those little voices always nagging away at us, it's because we are chasing after something that is someone else's path. We're defining our, our, our idea of success by a trope almost, something else that's perhaps a stereotype and may be true for other people, but is not true for ourselves. So the thing that I would encourage people most to do is to really take that time to think about what it is that you stand for, what it is that you could, do, could spend your whole life doing and find so incredibly important that building your life around that is a worthy goal. And in that case, setbacks, failures, opinions of others, are no longer consequential for you. And that's the most important thing I've found when it comes to success and failure, because oftentimes we're basing it off something completely external. So shout out to that journalist for making me just reflect on that, the importance of introspection and knowing ourselves and being really intentional with our time, energy, and what we're focusing on because that really is the most important thing and so valuable and will save a lot of time and energy. It's definitely a work in prog progress for me. Um, not an easy um, process for anyone in general, but, but definitely worth the time. So I just wanted to share that thought with you guys. Let me know what you think about um, 
the, the definition of success, what your definition of success might be, how you've come to get to that point, what the struggle was, what you've done to kind of like shake out your meaning and your definition and what that means to you. I'd love to hear from you guys and what you think. So until next time, continue cultivating your best you. Okay, one last point that I just wanted to get in and we're going full selfie mode because I took down all my filming setup and I'm too lazy to put it back together again. But I wanted to drive home one last point and it is this, that we should not be seeking success just for success, just to be called successful. Set aside the whole idea of success and just think about what makes life valuable to you what is it that you're meant to be doing what can you not not be doing in order to make your life in line with your values and your intentions and what you want to be doing what is it that is making you the best you that you want to be doing every day find that put aside other people's opinions the cheap seats in the back and follow that and I guarantee you you will be feeling successful and fulfilled and not worried about those little missteps and failures along the way that usually get us caught up when we're trying to follow something else that we shouldn't be following. All right, so keep that in your mind. I will keep it in my mind as well and repeat it as a mantra in those rough moments. But anyways, just wanted to add that at the end. Peace.